Beneath the allegations of crime that has been perpetrated and leveled against the people here, there is also an underlining factor which has to do with the ownership of the traditional land here. Now, there's two land. Who owns it? Who has the authority? And the authority that they have, are they able to exercise it well? Are they able to nip the criminals or have them arrested? Have they been successful in ensuring order outside what is happening in the law courts. Again, another issue, sublime here, has to do with the litigation over the land here, and we are told that this is also in court. So what we have done on the city newsroom is to come to the residence of the paramount chief of this particular area to have a conversation and have a better understanding of who owns Bujumburam. First of all, how did Bujumburam even come to exist? What is the history around this particular community before the arrival of the Liberian refugees, after the exit, what has become of the Bujumburam camp and what should be happening next? We're going to have a conversation now with the chiefs here. Now, the enforcement of law and order in Ghana is in the hands of the Ghana Police Service. But aside the authority that has been vested in them, we have other traditional authorities that run our country's local systems. So here in Bujumburam, we have come to speak to the paramount chief of this particular land. He's a traditional ruler, and we ha want to have an understanding and perspective of what exactly Bujumburam is, how did this community become what it has become, who lives here, and how long they've lived here for, and what seems to be the new challenge that is cropping up. We've come now to the residence of the paramount chief now of uh, this particular traditional area, and then I'm going to invite him now to City Newsroom. Sir, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. What is your name, please, respectfully? Well, my name is Nana Kwabedi Akon. Just in the of Abore, we sit you down royal family. So you are the traditional ruler of this area? Really, and the uh, caretaker of Gumwa, Gumwa traditional Council. Okay. When Bujumbram is mentioned for many Ghanaian people, it has to do with a refugee camp which hosted Liberians. Uh, what do you remember about the setting up of this camp? Uh, really, it was uh, when they were coming, it was my uncle, Nanabore, we see the 19, who gave the land to the refugees. During that time, uh, then this this fighting has been already already done. So my uncle told the, uh, the, 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 the the elders that they should go and see the people at the Budubrum because a Krum is near really Budubrum. Mm -hmm. So it was my uncle who gave the side to the uh, the, to the Liberia people. I see. Mm -hmm. And they've been living there for a number of years now, but they've since been told to leave, haven't they? Uh, yeah. Oh, they have been told to leave. And even at all, much of them has gone. So what's happening in the camp now? The camp... The, 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 the camp really has turned like a... a, a, a land guards. A den of land guards. A, a, a really... A, 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 a headquarter, a headquarters of uh, this thing, Langard. Why? From where? From from Lagos, from oh, many 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 tribes. Lagos in Nigeria. Nigeria people. Yes. Now, this, now, this, now. this this was an originally Liberian community. Very good, very good. They are still on. The Liberians have not left. At all, at all. Even at all, they are now coming more. So Liberians are in the camp? Really? Which other nationals are in the camp? Uh, the Sri Lankan, Nigerian, Togolese, Côte d'Ivoire, and many, many, many people. So, so is a camp for the government as we speak, or it is now just a free-range camp? Uh, really, as we are now, I mean, uh, as we are now uh, fighting for the land, it's not a government, this thing, property. So, so is, there any, is there any government security set up at the place? Is there anybody in charge of the place or people are just living on their own? Really, we do found the United Nations people, some of them are living here. Some of them are living here. Okay. And, and, and so these uh, land guards that you talk about, what do they do? They do nothing. Only when, whenever they see that, the chief 
the chief has gone in to bring somebody to occupy some land. You will see that they go there to, hand, uh, uh, to harass the people that the chief has been giving the land to. Really? You are the traditional authority here. How can they challenge you? Really, I have no authority. Because there are many. There are more than I. How many are they? Oh, really? Unless you see by your own naked eyes. Mm. They are plenty mm. doing practically nothing in the town. What do you want to see in your community? Uh, my opinion that I would have left government to break all the houses that I intended gave to, to them. But how we are uh, this thing, attending police, uh, this thing, court cases at Cape Coast, this has brought me a uh, power for me just to break all the houses just like that because the native of the town has been challenged. So we have been taken to court that this particular land is belongs to one woman, one a girlfriend of a, uh, a Kwam. So the case is still pending at uh, Cape Coast High Court. I see. Now... So what do you think should happen at the camp itself? The camp should also be closed down, people should be removed, their houses destroyed? Really, really. I would have, I would have liked that. Mm, I would have loved that too. That it will, it will be actually uh, 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 closed down. You sound very helpless. At all. At all. You had there the paramount uh, chief of this uh, particular traditional area, which also covers... Bujumburam uh, in the central region and we are trying to understand the history of the setup of this community the arrival of the Liberians after the war when, or during the war when they were brought to seek refuge here in Ghana their subsequent departure and what has become of the Bujumburam camp. Uh, this is a chief uh, who says he would need some extra support to enforce law and order in his community because clearly uh, it sounds like a desperate and helpless situation. This is City Newsroom on City TV. We'll be picking more thoughts uh, from this particular community on the subject matter. Yeah,